afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at 4 on this Monday. Hope you all had a good weekend. Kind of stormy out there. Very stormy, and it continues today. Yeah, hot and stormy. That's on tap for us tomorrow. Our Julian Seawright will point out what to look for in our alert day tomorrow. The UN puts out a report today about climate change and all of the extreme weather that we've seen lately. How much of it is human caused? And the International Space Station takes a crack at the Olympics. So who took the goal between the Russians and the Americans? Let's take a look outside. Boy, is it humid enough for you? It is so sticky outside. But things are getting green, though. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Look at that. Hot and stormy. Julian is here with the details on that. That's right, Mark. Hot and stormy is going to be our trend, at least to start off our week. We already, in about south of our viewing area, have a tornado watch in effect, and we did have a tornado warning just about east of our viewing area just a few moments ago. Now, because of these hot temperatures and these humidity, we are looking at, as we can see, just about south of our viewing area. Once again, there is still another tornado warning in northern Illinois, and these storms that could be produced from northern Illinois could leak into our viewing area at any moment in time throughout the rest of this evening. We are looking at that slight risk for northern Illinois and just a marginal risk about south of Dane County and into the eastern parts going into Rock County as well. It but really what we're going to be keeping our eye on is for Tuesday because Tuesday we do have an enhanced risk stretching in from southern into central and even some parts of northern Wisconsin. Outside of that, we're looking at slight risk of seeing some severe weather as well. So that is why on top of that, we have a heat advisory in effect for southern areas of Wisconsin until for tomorrow from noon to 7 p.m. With all of this adding together, this is why we have an alert day, folks. We're looking at Tuesday, the heat index from 95 to 105, maybe even more degrees. The dew points will be on tropical level. It's going to feel like we're in Barbados or even Jamaica. But even still, we're looking at Tuesday afternoon and evening to be the timing for some sparking of these severe storms that could have damaging winds, hail, heavy rainfall, and we cannot rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado. So now is the time to get ready, get your game plan set for after work and what you're going to need to be sure that you're staying safe and staying with us. But we're going to check in with traffic right quick because on the Beltline eastbound right now, we do have an accident that has been reported, so expect any kind of delays into your travel on the east on the about line because of this accident. But we'll talk more about that severe weather coming up. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Julian. With that alert day in our forecast tomorrow, we here at News 3 now believe you can never prepare too early. So we made a list for you. First thing is your weather radio. Tomorrow night, make sure it's charged and tuned to the correct station for your area. Flashlights. Keep them in multiple obvious places around the house. You'll thank yourself if you end up losing power. And water and food. Your emergency kit should have a week's worth of food and water for every member of your house. Three rounds of severe storms in less than two weeks, and now another alert day on our forecast tomorrow. Here is some of our coverage from the Boscobel tornado over the weekend, the strongest tornado in Wisconsin since 2008. No, no, just instant shock and disbelief. Emergency management crews report several homes and barns are gone. Just outside of Boscobel, you really start to get an idea of the extent of this damage. Two public reports of a tornado that reached the ground. Across that area, 300 people are still without power. All of the homes, a dozen in total, completely flattened. The destruction is stunning throughout dozens of properties surrounding Boscobel. The tornado damaged 20 silos, barns, and farm buildings in addition to a number of homes. Today, the recovery continues for those families. Our Brad Hamilton is live in Boscobel this afternoon and got a chance to speak with a victim of the now confirmed EF3 tornado. Brad? Well, the Bezerra family has lived right here in Boscobel since 1967, and their family farm is all they've known in that time. Linda Bezerra says that they were on their way to a family function at the time, when all of a sudden it started storming. As that storm grew, Linda decided to brace for a potential tornado. Thankfully, she and her family were ready when that tornado ripped through their property. The family barn, built in 1910, was completely wiped out. Their home damaged was, but was still standing, and though the damage is immense, Linda and her family were unharmed, which is something that she's trying to focus on right now. When we looked at it and said the important thing is we're alive, our son was alive, we're okay, we will do it. These, they, the people say to you, it's material things that you lost. Yes, it is. 
Linda says that the uh, repairs are going to cost them thousands of dollars. Now, friends and family were in town helping them and others all throughout Saturday and all throughout yesterday and today. Um, it's just been one heck of a process since these storms hit. But uh, reporting live here in Bosqueville tonight, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. Yeah, the damage is unbelievable, but it is so nice to see communities coming together like that. And no one injured. That's yeah, that's right. That's the most important thing. Brad, thank you. If you haven't downloaded our weather app, now is the perfect time to do it. We'll be sending out push alerts on any severe weather expected tomorrow night, and you can watch the radar and the current weather conditions yourself. Take your phone camera out and point it at your screen at this QR code. That will take you right to your app store to download it, or you can download it anytime. Just search first warn weather in the app store. In other news today, the Madison Streets Department was out adjusting speed limits today in some residents residential neighborhoods to 20 miles an hour in a move the city is calling 20 is plenty. The purpose of the program is to increase the safety of pedestrians, bicyclists and other motor vehicles on local streets. The program is specifically focused on reducing speeds on local streets in neighborhoods and not larger streets that carry higher volumes of traffic. So we've seen, we've been uh, working with other cities a lot, and there's a kind of a growing trend across the country of um, urban areas lowering um, speed limits to increase safety. Um, so we've seen some really positive data coming out of other cities that have um, just changed out the signs and have seen a lot significantly lower speeds. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, from 2009 to 2018, there was a 46% increase in crashes between motor vehicles and pedestrians. 20 is plenty is meant to counteract that concerning trend. Three people are confirmed dead after a wrong way crash in Dodge County on Saturday. The Dodge County Sheriff's Office says a car headed north on U.S. Highway 151 was driving in the wrong way on the southbound lane and collided head on into another car in the township of Beaver Dam. The Sheriff's Office said the driver of the vehicle going the wrong way, 87 year old Frederick Schultz, died at the scene. Early on in the pandemic, very little was known about COVID-19 and its effect on kids. But since then, the virus and its effect on children has been relatively well documented. Due to their natural immune system, children are much better protected than seniors. But that does not make them invincible, as over 340 children have succumbed to COVID-19. Dr. Sabrina Buttress from UW Health Pediatrics tells us what we know and what we don't know. So what we don't know about the numbers is if we took all of our mitigation strategies away, so people went back to their normal lives, schools were back in session without masks, all these pieces, what would the what would the death, hospitalization, and complication rate look like in kids? We just don't know that yet. Dr. Buttress went on to remind us that 340 children have died of COVID in the U.S. and over 4,000 had a multi-system inflammatory condition. All of those numbers were before the Delta variant. And 340 only do doesn't only sound like a lot may not sound like a lot, but it is if it is your child who suffers. It has been slow going, but the Senate could finally green light a $1.2 trillion infrastructure package tomorrow morning. The Senate reconvened today, inching closer to final passage of the bill that includes $550 billion in new spending for the nation's physical infrastructure like bro roads, bridges, and broadband. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says he expects a vote tomorrow morning, but the wrangling isn't necessarily over. Bill will represent a substantial down payment towards the level of infrastructure investment our country needs. And for the first time, the Senate has come together around such a package in decades. We were all told that this thing was completely paid for. Oops, not quite, but don't worry about the details. It's only a quarter of a trillion dollars. Once infrastructure clears the chamber, another major measure is waiting in the wings, a $3.5 trillion budget blueprint. That reconciliation bill would boost spending on health care, child and elder care, and education and climate change without Republican support. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is facing more fallout following a report from the state's attorney general that he sexually harassed 11 women. One of Cuomo's accusers identified in the AG's report as executive assistant number one spoke with Erica Duncan of CBS News in an exclusive interview with CBS This Morning and the Albany Times Union newspaper. I then felt while taking the selfie, his hand go down my back onto my butt and he started rubbing it. 
In an exclusive interview with CBS This Morning, an Albany's Times Union newspaper, Brittany Camisso identified as executive assistant number one in the state attorney general's report, claims New York Governor Andrew Cuomo groped her twice, including once in November of 2020. I could tell immediately when he hugged me, it was in a probably the most sexually aggressive manner. Um, it was then that I said, you know, uh, Governor, you know, my words were, you're going to get us in trouble. And when I said that, he walked over, shut the door so hard, came back to me, and that's when he put his hand up my blouse and cupped my breast over my bra. This just did not happen. The governor has denied all allegations of misconduct. I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. Camisso has filed a criminal complaint against the governor. Why did you file that criminal complaint with the sheriff's office? Because it was the right thing to do. The governor needs to be held accountable. New York's legislators may hold the governor accountable. A committee meeting Monday is discussing whether there are grounds for impeachment. The findings, the content, of the report are deeply disturbing. And while Cuomo has resisted calls to step down, his top aide, Melissa DeRosa, announced her resignation, saying the past two years had been emotionally and mentally trying. Jerika Duncan, CBS News, New York. An alarming new surge in COVID cases is overwhelming many hospitals in the South. When it comes to encouraging young people to get vaccinated, second gentleman Doug Emhoff and Education Secretary Miguel Cardona are helping to lead the charge. Today, they toured a vaccine clinic at Topeka High School in Kansas. The National Institutes of Health says more than 1,400 kids across the country are now hospitalized with COVID, the highest number ever recorded. Meanwhile, the debate over whether students should wear masks in the classroom is taking center stage across the country where local and state officials remain divided. For the government to mask children to have no cho who have no choice is the wrong thing to do. Look, just get the vaccination. Help yourself, help others, and move on so we can get back to the lives that we want to get back to. President Biden says he strongly supports Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's plan to make the COVID-19 vaccine mandatory for all active duty troops by the fall or sooner, if fully approved by the FDA. In a memo to DOD employees, Defense Secretary Austin wrote in part, to defend this nation, we need a healthy and ready force. I strongly encourage all DOT military and civilian personnel, as well as contractor personnel to get vaccinated now. The world's leading climate change scientists have issued a stark report about the speed and impact of human-caused global warming. The report warns there will be many more disasters like this summer's historic flooding in Europe and elsewhere if nations don't slash greenhouse gas emissions now. The report says the Earth's average temperature is currently about 1.1 degrees warmer than pre-industrial levels and predicts we could hit 1.5 degrees in the next decade. Uh, Jory Rogelli is a senior author of the report. We are not yet on track, on a track, to even stop this warming from further increasing. So yes, we should be alarmed. The new report marks the first time the IPCC has declared the climate crisis is being caused by humans. It is sure to push governments to commit to cutting emissions faster ahead of a big UN climate summit in Scotland this fall. Billions of dollars will soon head to FEMA funding disasters caused by global warming and climate change. The Biden administration announced it's sending $5 billion to fund grants to help states and localities prepare for extreme climate-related disasters like those seen this year. The funding announcement comes after the UN report showing the world is already 1.1 degrees warmer than pre-industrial levels. It also states that we're running out of time to keep human-caused global warming to around 1.5 degrees Celsius. Well, the Olympics showcase some of man's greatest qualities, of course, determination, grit, and strength. But how would the competitors fare if they were in space? Well, that's exactly what happened this week at the International Space Station, the Summer Games in Tokyo.
Tokyo were winding down, astronauts and cosmonauts could not resist joining in on Olympic fever. They split into two international teams, Team Soyuz and Team Dragon. The athletes competed in zero gravity events like no handball, <laughs> that's funny, synchronized floating, and gymnastics. NASA did not report if any medals were awarded. <laughs> Do we know who won? We don't know. I take it, get the high jump though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Pretty easily. There's more to come at four. Warner Brothers had high hopes for its big new budget release, The Suicide Squad. How did it do its opening weekend? We'll find out next from Live at Four's film critic, Will Loper. That's when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. Here at TSR, we transform old, cracked concrete floors into beautiful, tough floors in just one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and here at TSR, we don't just simply coat over your old concrete. We grind it down, repair it, apply the base coat and chip, and then seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. All of our coatings are covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty, so you can rest assured that your beautiful new floor will last. Our awesome team is here to answer all of your questions before and after the installation. And right now, we are offering 15% off your new floor coating until the end of the year. Visit the website or call that number below for your new floor today. One day floor. Call 1-800-886-8411. There are lots of reasons why LeafGuard is the only gutter system that has earned the good housekeeping seal. Hi, I'm Andrew Larson, owner of Larson Home Services. LeafGuard's patented one-piece seamless design keeps leaves and debris out, which means no more clogs, guaranteed. And LeafGuard carries a lifetime warranty, so your home's foundation will be protected forever. And our customers couldn't be happier. They're the best. I don't have to worry about the, the gutters getting clogged up with the seeds, the branches, the, the dirt, the, the roof sheddings. And it's just one less worry for me. That's awesome. Right now, your LeafGuard brand gutter system comes with some great money-saving extras. Take 50% off installation labor, get free financing for 12 months, and call today and get a $100 Visa gift card with your new LeafGuard gutter system. Don't wait. Call now to schedule your free estimate. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. McGann Furniture in downtown Baraboo should probably be called McGann Furniture and Flooring because we're the area's oldest and most experienced floor covering store. Our friendly staff will explain the many types of flooring available, answer questions, and make suggestions so you can choose what's best for your home and lifestyle. We always offer free in-home measurements and estimates and use the finest installers in the entire area. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. Welcome back. If you're still looking for work, there's no shortage of opportunities right now. A record amount of jobs have been added in June. 10.1 million are available. This comes as businesses struggle to hire enough staff to support the reopening of the economy. In a report from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, most of the jobs are in professional and business services, hotels and restaurants. Many people looking for jobs are still faced with some challenges, such as child care and concerns about catching the virus at work. In June, the number of hires rose by 6.7 million and the layoff level didn't budge. The Biden administration is giving education borrowers one more extension on student loan payments. The extra time will allow people a pause on student loan repayments, interest and collection until January 31st of 2022. The Department of Education says this will be the final extension. Stocks closed mixed 
next as oil prices drop and virus concerns rise. The Dow Industrials lost 106 points, closing at 35,101. The Nasdaq managed a 24-point gain, but the S&P 500 was off four. A blockbuster opened over the weekend, and it was something of a bust at the box office. Our film critic Will Loper is here with the numbers and what to watch and what to skip. Hey, Susan and Mark. The Suicide Squad opened in theaters this weekend and streamed at home on HBO Max and disappointed at the box office, making just $26.5 million. I'm not joining your Suicide Squad. We'll see. Theories on its poor box office performance point to worries about the Delta variant, people staying home to watch on HBO Max instead, and audience confusion over just how this is connected to 2016's awful and nearly same titled film, Suicide Squad. Uh -oh. Not good. However, as bad as that version was, this new film about comic book villains taking on a dangerous mission to reduce their prison sentences is an absolute joy from start to finish. This is suicide. Oh, well, that's kind of our thing. I'm a superhero! There's humor, there's well-staged action, and most importantly, we care about the characters, including Idris Elba as Bloodsport, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, and even the villain that throws polka dots as his power. The Suicide Squad is well worth seeing. Just keep in mind that the violence in this film is very graphic and very R-rated. Over on streaming services, new on Amazon Prime Video is the documentary, Val. I was the first guy I knew to own a video camera. Here we are, filming ourselves. Uh, is that a is video rolling? camera? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool, Val. The film tells the story of actor Vale Kilmer through the thousands of hours of footage he documented through his life. Yeah. I have behaved poorly. Well, why? I have behaved bravely. Bizarrely to some. How do you heal a broken heart? I see myself as a sensitive, intelligent human being, but with the soul of a clown. New on Netflix Wednesday is the baking competition show Bake Squad. No way! That looks so good. They're gonna freak out. Ah! Bakers compete to see whose dessert will be chosen for various celebrations. Yeah. You're gonna have four desserts to choose from, and you can only pick one. You will leave your party guests speechless. You made my decision very hard. Also new on Netflix Wednesday is the film The Kissing Booth 3. A long time ago, Lee and I put together a list of all the crazy things we wanted to do together before going to college. Yes. The romantic comedy picks up with Elle facing a tough decision the summer before college. Eventually, you're going to have to come back to it. I have to pick a school and make one of my two favorite people very unhappy. We need your decision by tomorrow. But I wasn't ready to say goodbye. It was our last summer together, and I was going to make it count. This Wednesday, Disney Plus is releasing a new animated series, What If? Time. Reality. Reality. It's changeable. The show takes Marvel characters and asks what if scenarios, like what if Peggy Carter became Captain America instead? Also just added to Disney Plus is the 1993 film, Mrs. Doubtfire. This holiday smells like burnt rubber. Ah! 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 Probably half the time I greet somebody, I do it just like Robin Williams does in the movie. Hello! Ah! For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. This is my nightly meringue mask, part of my beauty regimen. That's so funny. <laughs> that movie is so funny. I watched The Suicide Squad over the weekend. What'd it is think? very good. Is it really good? But it's, watch through the credits. Okay. It's a, there's a couple of scenes at the end. Oh, I love when they do that. I'm looking forward to seeing that bake squad, too. And the Val Kilmer thing looks interesting. That looks interesting. I'm not, I'm not the, a baker, so I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'll let you know. All right. Still to come, a new study shows moms are not the only ones who experience postpartum depression. Dads can feel it, too. We'll have more on that coming up after Julian's Alert Day forecast. Stay with us.
Get more enjoyment from your outdoor space with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $6,500 off your sunroom. Plus, no interest if paid in full by February 2023. Call today. Patio enclosures. My heart failure diagnosis changed my priorities. I want time for the people I love. My heart doesn't pump enough blood. So my doctor gave me Farsiga. It helps my heart do its job better. Farsiga helps keep me living life and out of the hospital for heart failure. Do not take if allergic to Farsiga. Symptoms of a serious allergic reaction include rash, swelling, difficulty breathing, or swallowing. Stop taking and seek medical help right away. Tell your doctor right away if you have red color in urine or pain while you urinate or a genital area infection, since a rare but serious genital infection may be life-threatening. Do not take Farsiga if you have severe kidney problems or are on dialysis. Other serious side effects include dehydration, sudden kidney problems, genital yeast, and bacterial infections in women and men, urinary tract infections, and low blood sugar. Stop taking Farsiga and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of ketoacidosis, which is serious and may lead to death. Work time with her? Sounds good to me. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Modern Designer Kids Package or Free Lens Upgrade. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. One of the best things about replacing your gutters with a LeafGuard brand gutter system is you'll never have to climb up one of these ever again. I'm Andrew Larson and my team at Larson Home Services is installing LeafGuard at this home and the homeowners know they are done cleaning out their gutters forever. LeafGuard is guaranteed to never clog. That leads to happy customers. We looked at several different types of gutters and we knew that we had problems with leaves. We have lots of trees around our house and I'm the one who goes and cleans out the gutters and uh, I wanted to eliminate that hassle in the fall of cleaning the gutters and LeafGuard has done a wonderful job. That's awesome. Right now, your LeafGuard brand gutter system comes with some great money-saving extras. Take 50% off installation labor, get free financing for 12 months, and call today and get a $100 Visa gift card with your new LeafGuard gutter system. Don't wait. Call now to schedule your free estimate. Get more enjoyment from your outdoor space with patio enclosures. Right now, get up to $6,500 off your sunroom. Plus, no interest if paid in full by February 2023. Call today. Patio enclosures. Well, take a look at this. Visitors to Disney World's newly reopened Hall of Presidents will be greeted by a familiar face. President Joe Biden. The animatronic version of the 46th president debuted at the attraction and features audio recorded by Biden himself. And those signature aviator sunglasses, the Hall of Presidents has been featured at the Magic Kingdom Park since opening day in 1971. Well, today is National Book Lovers Day, and all you have to do to celebrate is pick up a good book and read. People are advised to put away their smartphones for the day and pick up a book instead, although an e-book would also count. National Book Lovers Day is the perfect time to share a novel or nonfiction favorite with a friend or read to a little one to build Build a lifelong love of books in them. I still want a physical book. Yes, I do too. Instead of an e-book. I can't read it on a reader. Yeah, yeah. I like to have the actual book in my hand. Well, the man with the book on the weather is <laughs> yeah. in. keeping an eye on the radar. Wow, has it been a busy couple of days and it's not over yet? That is right, Susan Mark. We're going to continue to have busy nights for us. And as we get into it, this is what our evening is looking like. We still do have a tornado watch in effect, but we're going to be looking at more of this coming up in just a few moments. save every free pickup order is picked fresh and packed with care or we'll make it right we're fresh every day so shop anyway pick and save fresh for everyone Burr, you won't phase me unlike your tech allegra won't make me drowsy allegra starts working two times faster than claritin so trees you won't take me down when allergies attack take allegra before your symptoms take over you live your greatness Andrew Larson here, owner of Larson Home Services. With things getting back to normal, we're proud to have been able to continue to serve homeowners during these difficult times. 
My team has earned GAF's exclusive Master Elite status, achieved by just 3% of contractors in the U.S. That's your assurance you're dealing with a dependable, professional contractor. We continue to make all the proper precautions to keep our employees and homeowners safe. Taking care of our customers is our top priority. The whole process was amazingly simple and easy. Uh, my wife, which is important to keep happy, uh, you know, my wife was happy with the whole process. It was very easy, seamless, and uh, it, it was just a no-brainer to, you know, have it all done. And your new GAF roof will have a 50-year warranty. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Order now and get our best offer. Take 50% off installation labor, get free financing for 12 months, and a $100 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. Attic Angel Community has earned a reputation as the one and only. But what's so memorable to the people who live here? It's good local heart. Interesting friends. The view from my window. Continuing education. The food. The amazing art studio. Happy hour. There are many reasons to love Attic Angel Community, but there's just one Attic Angel. Do you suffer from ED? Did you know there could be a way to relieve ED without harmful medications, needles, or surgery? Peak Performance for Men is here to help. Click or call now to treat your ED. And remember, our results make the difference. Pick and Save Delivery is always fresh because we check our produce at every stop on its journey to you. We're fresh every day, so shop any way. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully you have had not so much of a busy Monday as we've had in the weather world, and it's just going to be like that for the next couple as we go in throughout the rest of our evening. However, just about south of our viewing area, we do have a tornado watch, but a tornado did spin up just east of our viewing area. So as we take a closer look, some of these storms that are popping up in that area just into northern Illinois could still potentially leak into southern Wisconsin, which is what we're going to be keeping our eye on throughout the rest of this evening, because as we take a look at our SPC, see for today we do have a marginal risk for parts of southern Wisconsin and into the southeast of where we could be seeing some severe weather throughout the rest of this afternoon and into this evening and then as we can see into northern Illinois that's where we're seeing really the concentration of that severe weather and even though it's a slight risk we have seen some tornadoes spin up in those areas now what we're keeping our eye on however is for Tuesday because we have an enhanced risk for much of eastern and all of southern Wisconsin and then just outside of it for the northern areas we do have have a slight risk and into the northwest we have a marginal risk. So with that is why we're going to be keeping our eye on for tomorrow and that on top of this heat advisory which will be in effect from noon tomorrow into 7 p.m. for much of the areas that are into that shade color on your screen. That's where we're looking at that heat advisory from 95 to even 105 degree heat index. And that is why we have an alert day for Tuesday. This is what we're going to be looking at. It's going to be two things. It's going to be the heat index which is 95 to 105 degrees which is giving us tropical level dew points. That's why it's going to be so hot for us, and that's why it's going to be very, very important to stay hydrated and stay cool throughout Tuesday. Then on top of this is we do have that heat and sunshine fueling more chances of that severe thunderstorms. We could be bringing in damaging winds, hail, heavy rainfall, and we cannot rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado as we go into our Tuesday afternoon and evening. But again, we got to talk about the heat advisory because that's what we're going to be dealing with throughout much of our Tuesday. We're looking at those degree heat index degrees to hit around 105 degrees and even more so. So watch out for heat exhaustion because that is likely around that type of temperatures and a heat stroke is also possible. So make sure you are staying cool and you are also staying hydrated. But on top of that, we do have to prepare for severe weather as we get into our evening and nightly hours. So make sure you are planning ahead. Make sure your weather radio is ready to go. You have the batteries, you have water and food in case of emergency and make sure your devices are charged as well. And if you have any kind of furniture that's outside, make sure or even toys too. make sure that it is tightly down tight 
upside down and secured. Now, as we take a look for the rest of this evening, we could be seeing some pop-up showers, maybe even some pop-up storms, mainly into the southern and southeastern areas of Wisconsin. But this is what we're going to be looking at for tomorrow. As we can see throughout much of our morning and afternoon, plenty of sunshine, hot temperatures rolling in, and that's why it's going to be fueling in those storms. We're looking at the timing to start in about the evening hours, well into after dinner time. And that's where we're looking at much of southern Wisconsin, really seeing really heavy rainfall, no storms popping up, and it will be sticking around with rounds and rounds throughout the app the nightly hours going into the overnight as well. It could even leak into early Wednesday morning. So that's what we're going to be keeping our eye on. But since there is such heavy rainfall, we also have to kind of take note that we could be seeing some localized flooding for some of these areas such as Janesville, Waukesha and possibly even Milwaukee. That's what we're going to be keeping our eye on. So remember, we are looking for tomorrow. So make sure that you are making your game plan since we are ahead of this just in case for any kind of emergency were to happen. So once again, as we take a look Look, we are looking for better conditions after Tuesday, but Tuesday is our alert day. We're keeping our eye on Thursday for any kind of changes, but then afterwards we are looking for some much, much, much better relief going into the weekend. And I am super happy to start to see some 70s and some sunshine and not stormy conditions for the weekend. Weekend looks great. Have to see you tomorrow. All right, Julia, thank you. New research highlights postpartum depression impacts on mothers. Excuse me and fathers. Right, it's not just mothers. Michael George shows us why there is a need for more attention on the mental health of new dads. Stephen Hassan loves being a dad to 10-month-old Max. Their family had a difficult journey, with Max being born very premature. Max was in the NICU for 97 days. It was months of stress and worry. Stephen says he realized he was suffering from depression. I had to be strong for for my wife and for Max. And so, you know, like the real emotional toll didn't really hit me until we got home. Having feelings of regret, why did I have this child? You know, I can't do this. Northwestern University researchers screened parents during their newborn's NICU stay and up to a month after discharge. 33% of mothers and 17% of fathers had depression symptoms. While mothers improved once their babies were home, dads were still experiencing symptoms. It's possible that dad's depressive symptoms persisted because we really don't talk about it much or even acknowledge the fact that they also might be experiencing um, some trauma and anxiety and depression um, in this big shift to suddenly having a premature baby. Study author Dr. Craig Garfield says dads should be screened more for signs of depression, such as trouble sleeping or increased anger, and they shouldn't be afraid to talk to their partner or a professional. There's a significant number of fathers out there who do need help. And when you help that father, you actually end up helping that baby and that mother as well. Max is now happy and healthy. Stephen credits his family and his therapist for helping him. You know, mental health as a whole should be, you know, not a taboo topic because it's just like exercise or, you know, eating well. And a big step in addressing the stigma is talking about it. Michael George, CBS News, New York. It's very important information. The study also recommends that doctors screen parents when they're in the NICU. That would help predict which parents may have depression symptoms continuing after going home. Mm -hmm. Well, up next to four, our own Josh Breider goes in the 608 and takes part in our back to school drive. And then coming up next hour at five, how expensive is a storm and who pays for it? Our Naomi Coles looked into that. She'll have that story coming up at five. Rest comfortably with brands you can trust at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Create a unique and stylish room with made-in-the-USA products from companies like Smith Brothers of Burn. Select from a wide variety of sofas at a great price. Bring quality home at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Important health care announcement. If people tell you your TV is too loud, or if listening in some environments has become difficult, we are requesting your participation in a special program called the 30-Day Challenge. Hearing Life Hearing Centers are seeking people with hearing difficulties to evaluate a new digital mini hearing aid now being released. To take part in this event, you must call. Please get a pencil and write down the number below. All people with hearing aids or hearing difficulties are wanted to take part in the 30-day challenge evaluating a new high-tech device that sits discreetly behind your ear. 
This hearing aid is Bluetooth enabled and is rechargeable. All hearing assessments are performed at no charge for those taking part in the challenge. Participants will try these hearing aids for 30 days. Call the number below and take the Hearing Life 30-Day Challenge. Maintain your lawn and your vehicle with help from Menards. Works has the outdoor power equipment you need to keep your yard looking great. All Works outdoor power equipment is 11% off. Keep your vehicle at peak performance with Valvoline Daily Protection Motor Oil. Specially formulated for the full life of the engine with advanced additives for full year protection. Valvoline Motor Oil is 11% off. Save 11% on everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At General Heating and Air Conditioning, your comfort is important to us. From keeping you cozy warm to cooling you off with the ultra-quiet, energy-efficient Carrier Infinity Home Comfort System. Plus, join our free home comfort program and keep your air conditioner and furnace running at peak performance year after year. Enjoy priority service and extra savings that really add up. Celebrating 75 years of providing award-winning comfort for your home. Turn to the experts, Carrier and General Heating and Air Conditioning. Experience handcrafted and hand-finished furniture by genuine Amish craftsmen at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Featuring hardwood made in the USA home furnishings by Simply Amish and other great brands you can trust. Bring quality home at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Tonight at 5, cleanup continues in southwestern Wisconsin after an EF3 tornado touched down over the weekend in Boscobel. How that community is planning on recovering ahead at 5. Get our next round of severe weather right around the corner as we look ahead to late Tuesday afternoon and evening. Also expecting extreme heat for Tuesday. We'll look at your full forecast. And ahead at 6, we're looking into what financial resources are available for families impacted by the Boscobel tornado and who pays for the damage when a disaster hits. That's at 6. Welcome back, everyone. We're in the second week of our back to school donation drive here at News 3. Josh Breider was at the McKenzie Family Boys and Girls Club in Sun Prairie this morning with what they're doing to help to make sure kids have what they need when they start classes. As our back to school drive continues, we're helping local kids and breaking down those barriers and getting the school supplies they need as kids head back to school. We're at the McKenzie Club Center here of the Boys and Girls Club in Sun Prairie and Jake Brown is with us. And this is really important to kind of alleviate some of that stress for those families that need these school supplies for their kids. Yeah, Boys and Girls Club is committed to making sure that obstacles and barriers are taken away so that each kid has a level playing field. And we think we have a really neat opportunity here with this drive to make sure that all kids have equal access to these school supplies. And especially over the last year, a lot of families are struggling to make do and as simple as a school supply, that could really make a big difference for a lot of these kids. Absolutely. That first day of school is really important. Coming ready to learn, really, and being excited about their learning, I think is just is something that a lot of people take for granted. We want to make sure all of our kids uh, feel that. And you guys are making it super easy in finding ways for people to give. You know, if people are interested in helping out, what do they need to know? Yeah, they need to know that we're, we're open at our three locations uh, here at the McKenzie Family Boys and Girls Club. Um, in Sun Prairie, our Allied Family Center in Fitchburg, and then our ad Administrative Center uh, off of Fish Hatchery. We're open from 9 to 5, collecting school supplies Monday through Friday. Um, we're doing so until Friday uh, the 13th, and then we plan on distributing supplies next week, Tuesday, on August 16th. And there really is no too little of a donation, right? No, anything. A pencil you have laying around, right? Uh, erasers, um, all the way up to things that you need in your first college room. We serve all those populations, and, and we're going to collect anything we get. We'll make sure we get it out to families. Well, Jay, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Of course, we'll have all of this up on channel3000.com. You have just a few days left, but I have a feeling here in Madison, we're such a generous community. A lot of folks will come back and give quite a bit up until Friday. In Sun Prairie, Josh Breider, News 3 Now. It's easy to do. Drop it off. Thank you, Josh. Can't believe it's time. I think we're talking about back to school oh, already. Yeah, it's almost here. Well, it is Black Restaurant Week in Madison. 39 black-owned restaurants, food trucks, and carryouts are taking part. It's a great opportunity to check out some great food that you might not have tried before. We'll head to Kingdom on the north side to find out more about Black Restaurant Week when Live at 4 continues. Buy Tense Golf Land now offers two indoor golf and multi-sport simulator suites. Play over 100 championship golf courses with unmatched golf swing data and visualization. Or play other sports and games using real sports equipment. The Buy Tense Golf Land simulator suites provides a fun indoor entertainment experience. Andrew Larson here, owner of Larson Home Services. 
With things getting back to normal, we're proud to have been able to continue to serve homeowners during these difficult times. My team has earned GAF's exclusive Master Elite status, achieved by just 3% of contractors in the U.S. That's your assurance you're dealing with a dependable, professional contractor. We continue to make all the proper precautions to keep our employees and homeowners safe. Taking care of our customers is our top priority. The whole process was amazingly simple and easy. Uh, my wife, which is important to keep happy, uh, you know, my wife was happy with the whole process. It was very easy, seamless, and uh, it, it was just a no-brainer to, you know, have it all done. And your new GAF roof will have a 50-year warranty. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Order now and get our best offer. Take 50% off installation labor, get free financing for 12 months, and a $100 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. Attic Angel Community has earned a reputation as the one and only, but what's so memorable to the people who live here? It's good local heart. Interesting friends. The view from my window. Continuing education. The food. The amazing art studio. Happy hour. There are many reasons to love Attic Angel Community, but there's just one Attic Angel. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. Vitense Golfland now offers the new Top Tracer mobile system. Track your shots from grass and mat tee areas for free from your cell phone. Record your golf swing with stats provided. Play games like Capture the Flag. Have golf range entertainment fun with Top Tracer at Vitense Golfland. And taking a quick look at our traffic, we do have that accident that is on the Beltline eastbound as of right now. So if you are going to be traveling on the Beltline, expect some delays, especially if you're going to be traveling eastbound. But as we take a closer look just at how the rest of the routes are going for right now, for the most part, we are still seeing some slow spots due to that construction and that accident is not helping on the Beltline out there. But however, we're going to be taking a look at the Beltline to Janesville. Right now, it's 25 minutes to get from A to B and from Middleton to Sauk City. We're looking at 16 minutes and for downtown to Sun Prairie. We're also looking at 16 minutes to get from one spot to the other. That'll do it for traffic. Over to you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. An intersection in Pittsburgh is getting a lot more colorful. The five-way stop in the city's Friendship neighborhood was closed over the weekend as local artists installed Asphalt Art. The Asphalt Art Initiative is a new program from Bloomberg Philotropics. So it's created to help cities use art and design to improve street safety revitalize public spaces and engage their communities. Beautiful. Nice really idea. Is, yeah, what a great idea. Well, Madison is celebrating its sixth annual Black Restaurant Week. Restaurant owners, black restaurant owners, caterers, and food trucks, as we mentioned, are hosting special deals all this week. It's a great opportunity to try some food that you may not have tried before and to support black-owned businesses at the same time. Yeah, Mohamed Tukara is from Kingdom Restaurant on the north side of Madison, is in the kitchen with us. Mohamed, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Why is this important for you to take part in this week? Well, it's real good for black community to be together. If we stick together, we all gonna be successful. Yeah. But apart, we're gonna fail. No, that's right. That's very and good. Tell, tell us a little bit about your restaurant, Kingdom, and you serve Gambian West African food. What, what does that involve? We've been in business for four years right now. It get better and better and better. 
with the support of the community. We have uh, unique food that Madison people want it. Like for example, right now, this is the fufu, and this is couscous. What is fufu? And over here we have okra stew. That will go with the fufu. Mohammed, what is what is fufu? Uh, fufu basically is very very known by Nigerians and the Ghanaians, and also in Gambia. So you're just Since Gambia is the smallest country in Africa, so they don't count as fufu makers. I learn something every day. Mm -hmm. So you're just, you're just a couple yeah. of blocks from the duck pond. That, that must be a lot of traffic yes. for you. We got a lot of traffic from uh, Mallard. Whenever they're playing, we got a lot of business. So the players come here and the customers. What specials are you featuring this week for restaurant week? We have the fufu. We have yasa. And we also have gyros and the catfish. Ooh, that's how we like to try all of that. <laughs> that sounds, sounds delicious. That all sounds yeah. good. This, this week gives people an opportunity to check out some food that they may not otherwise check out, which is, I think, a good idea. Yes, sir. Oh, can you hear us? Hello? <laughs> okay, I think yeah, you're Yeah, I can hear you. So you're open from 9 to 9, and you're on Northport Drive, so you're easy yes. to find. We open 9 to 9. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, we are the only restaurant in Madison. After 4 o'clock, any kid that's hungry, we don't want any kid to go to bed hungry. They can just come and say, Mohammed, I'm hungry today. I don't have money, then we will feed you. Oh, that is spectacular. That is kid wonderful. From uh, 14 and below. Well, good for you. Yes. Congratulations and we success. We do that for the community. Continued success on your business, and we hope you have a great black restaurant week. Great to see you, Mohammed. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. We appreciate the support. All right. We'll have a final check of your forecast coming up. Your family's year round comfort is our year round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Taco night is heartburn you can plan for, but surprise pizza means heartburn you didn't expect. New Zantac 360 Degrees contains the number one doctor-recommended medicine approved to both prevent and relieve heartburn and works in as little as 15 minutes. New Zantac 360. Our designer kids package or free lens upgrade. Wisconsin Vision. See more life. At Pick and Save, we take scrutinizing freshness to a whole new level. We're only the best of the best of the best will do. But just because you can't get any higher than perfect 10 produce, that doesn't mean that we won't try. Because Pick and Save produce isn't just fresh, it's fresher than fresh. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC, we'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Tonight at 5, we're live from Boscobel as cleanup continues after that EF3 tornado touchdown over the weekend. Plus, preparing your child for going back to school. The latest recommendations on masks and social distancing, what's changing, what's not at 5. News 3 now and the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County are collecting school supplies for area students. Please help us by donating at the Boys and Girls Club locations or the News 3 now studios. 
Visit channel3000.com for details, then donate. And coming up, we still have our alert day in the forecast for Tuesday because of heat and for the threat of severe storms. Dana Fulton will have more tonight at right, 5. Andrew Larson here, owner of Larson Home Services. With things getting back to normal, we're proud to have been able to continue to serve homeowners during these difficult times. My team has earned GAF's exclusive Master Elite status, achieved by just 3% of contractors in the U.S. That's your assurance you're dealing with a dependable, professional contractor. We continue to make all the proper precautions to keep our employees and homeowners safe. Taking care of our customers is our top priority. The whole process was amazingly simple and easy. Uh, my wife, which is important to keep happy, uh, you know, my wife was happy with the whole process. It was very easy, seamless, and uh, it, it was just a no-brainer to, you know, have it all done. And your new GAF roof will have a 50-year warranty. It's the last roof you'll ever buy. Order now and get our best offer. Take 50% off installation labor, get free financing for 12 months, and a $100 Visa gift card with your LeafGuard purchase. Pool floaties are like whooping cough. Amusement parks are like whooping cough. Even ice cream is like whooping cough. It's not just for kids. <laughs> whooping cough is highly contagious for people of any age, and it can cause violent, uncontrollable coughing fits, sometimes followed by vomiting and exhaustion. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about whooping cough vaccination, because whooping cough isn't just for kids. Here at TSR, we transform old, cracked concrete floors into beautiful, tough floors in just one day. Hi. I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and here at TSR, we don't just simply coat over your old concrete. We grind it down, repair it, apply the base coat and chip, and then seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. All of our coatings are covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty, so you can rest assured that your beautiful new floor will last. Our awesome team is here to answer all of your questions before and after the installation. And right now, we are offering 15% off your new floor coating until the end of the year. Visit the website or call that number below for your new floor today. One day floor. Call 1-800-886-8411. In today's final touch, she ain't heavy, she's your wife. <laughs> You'll hear people say, get off my back. Well, not this time. Some 40 Hungarian husbands with their wives on their backs clamored over rough terrain on Saturday for the nation's second annual wife carrying contest. Con contests like this date back to the Vikings age. In modern times, the Estonian method of wife carrying is most common. This style has the wife upside down and her feet over her husband's shoulders rather than a classic piggyback style, though there were some couples that were traditionalists. In the end, Janos Koves and his wife, whose name was not released, crossed the finish line first. The prize, his wife's weight in beer and a trophy and begging <laughs> rights. Bragging rights, we assume. Do not try this at home. <laughs> Wise to wear a helmet. 